my audible and visible let me know then we'll start okay i think i'm audible okay hello everyone welcome to my class I'm myself Dr. Deepthi Karya, I'm MD PhD Physiology and your faculty for Physiology. Now, so today we'll discuss uh, regulation of gastric secretion. In yesterday's class we have discussed about gastric secretion. Now how is it regulated that we will discuss in today's class. Before that there is an announcement that if you wish to get soft copy of my uh, notes you can download the application from play store that is Vesalius and you can subscribe and if you wish to get hard copy you have to order on the Flipkart as well as Amazon my book is available that is physiology notes okay also you can join my whatsapp group the number that is 7863822668 now let us start our today's topic that is regulation of gastric secretion okay how this gastric secretion yesterday we have discussed Gastric secretion includes HCL, pepsin or pepsinogen, okay, mucus and intrinsic factor. Now, how is it regulated? This gastric secretion is regulated mainly by two mechanisms. One, number one is nervous mechanism and number two that is humoral mechanism. We will discuss one by one starting with first that is neural mechanism or nervous mechanism. Now, what is this neural mechanism? Here, you can say that there are local autonomic reflexes. Local autonomic reflexes mainly that involves your cholinergic neurons. Very important thing here is for the regulation of gastric secretion, important nerve that is cholinergic nerves and the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine. Commonly vagus nerve that is parasympathetic cholinergic nerve. Okay. And impulses from the central nervous system also they are transmitted by vagus nerve. So you can say as I told you vagus that is the secretomotor nerve to the all the secretion of upper part of the digestive tract here for the stomach also that is secretomotor nerve and it causes direct stimulation of the secretion of gastric juice. Okay and this gastric uh, juice secretion that is reduced if we do the vagotomy vagus is removed or if we are giving atropine, atropine that has opposite action or that is uh, having action which is opposite to the uh, this acetylcholine or vagus. Okay. Now, vagus stim stimulation when we are stimulating vagus now, it increases gastric juice secretion by number one mechanism that is it releases here you can see GRP, gastrin releasing peptide, this one. Okay, and this gastrin releasing peptide increases release of gastrin and gastrin increases secretion of gastric juice, mainly acid secretion. Okay, that is one mechanism. Second mechanism, this uh, acetylcholine which is released by the vagus now and you can see here vagal efferent fibers, they release acetylcholine. Okay, this acetylcholine directly act on the gland, glandular cells. Okay, we have uh, this in the body part, in the fundus part, we have the gastric glands and gastric gland contains parietal cells, chief cells and enterochromaffin like cells. So directly this acetylcholine acts on all the cells and it increases secretion of HCL, pepsinogen and histamine. Okay. Now, so again you can see here, this is the action of vagus and acetylcholine which is released. You can see here, this acetylcholine which is released directly acts on the G cells increases gastric secretion also acts on the parietal cells and uh, this also acts on the you can see D cells it inhibits the D cells D cells is release your somatostatin and somatostatin inhibit gastric secretion which is inhibited by acetylcholine okay now what is Humoral regulation. Humoral regulation that is the action through humor, body fluid. So commonly hormones are there. 
and the important hormone that is gastrin okay gastrin that is released by psychic stimuli or food or digestive products when they reach to your pylorus part that is increased release of gastrin and this gastrin this impulses the travel through the vagus now to reach to the pyloric antrum and they cause release of hormone gastrin okay and now this gastrin they pass through blood vessels and they this gastrin increases secretion of your gastric juice okay gastric acid secretion okay so this is the hormonal regulation or humoral regulation act through gastrin now what is gastrin gastrin that is you can see again here this is antral cell pyro pyloric antrum has got g cells and g cells they release gastrin okay now what is the role of this gastrin which is released sorry this gastrin what is this gastrin first of all we'll discuss gastrin is secreted as we have discussed by the antral cell and it is secreted in inactive form that is progastrin fine that is secreted in progastrin fine and that is activated by hydrochloric acid hcl and products of digestion products of digestion means when the digestive product they reach to the antrum they release secretion of gastrin there are three types of gastrin g34 g17 and g40 half life is about 2 to 3 minutes and it is inactivated in kidneys and in small intestine okay now now what are the functions of gastrin as we all know here you can see this is a gastrin these are your parietal cells so this gastrin acts on the parietal cell and it increases the secretion of hcl now here gastrin acts through the second messenger okay it acts uh, action on the calcium channel and they release calcium i'll just show you this the mechanism of action you can see here this is a gastrin it binds with ckk beta receptors and it activates activates inositol triphosphate and this inositol triphosphate which in turn increases release of calcium ions okay now this calcium ions they activate protein kinase c and this protein kinase c it it in turn increases the activity of k plus h plus atps so h plus secretion increases here okay so this is the mechanism of action another thing is other mechanisms of action of gastrin that is one that is gastric also increases hcl secretion by stimulating secretion of histamine you can see here g cell 1 gastrin has direct effect here or this gastrin acts on the enterochromaffin like cells and this enterochromaffin like cells they release histamine and histamine in turn increases secretion of hcl okay so this is the other mechanism so first mechanism direct action of gastrin second through enterochromaffin like cell okay another actions of gastrin that is it increases the motility of stomach and motility of intestine also it causes contraction of the lower esophageal sphincter so it prevents the reflux reflux of gastric content also it increases the release of pancreatic secretion as well as endocrine secretion of pancreas like insulin and glucagon and also it has tropic action tropic means it causes growth of the mucosa of digestive tract so these are all the actions i repeat one action that is directly acting on the parietal cells and increase the hcl secretion second action through the enterochromaffin like cell to increase histamine also increases gastric and intestinal motility contraction of esophageal sphincter increases pancreatic juice secretion insulin secretion and glucagon secretion and tropic action okay now uh because of this gastrin you can see large amount of hcl is secreted so you can say that gastric juice becomes highly acidic okay and this occurs after 30 to 60 minutes because the hormone it requires 30 to 60 minutes to get its action so latency is 30 to 60 minute and the response lasts for 2 hours and vagal activity therefore vagal activity causes action by 
two ways. Number one, directly it stimulates, it affects your parietal cells, okay, and release of gastrin. And second, it acts through the sorry, first it acts on the parietal cells and increases secretion of HCL, not gastrin. And second, it acts through the G cells. And increase secretion of gastrin and gastrin in turn increases secretion of HCL. Okay, fine. Now, which of the factors they affect gastrin secretion? Factors they stimulate and they suppress gastric secretion. Gastrin secretion. Number one is vagus stimulation. Vagus increases gastrin release. Okay, through as we have discussed, gastrin releasing peptide. Okay. Number one, and other factor that increases this is first factor, vagus. Second factor, pyloric antrum, when it is distended by the food product or any other way, then there is increase in the gastric secretion. That is second mechanism. Third mechanism, that is uh, huh. some proteins, alcohol and Caffeine, products of digestion of protein, they also increase the secretion of gastrin. And this is also proven experimentally. We will discuss hidden hand pouches formed and if we are removing the pouch from the main stomach, still there is gastric secretion, gastric acid secretion and that is because of hormonal factor and that is your gastrin. Okay, now factors that inhibit gastrin secretion. That is negative feedback mechanism. You can see here, suppose large amount of acids are secreted. So what happens to the pH? pH of the stomach decreases. And when pH decreases, secretion of gastrin inhibited because now we do not require to have large amount of acid secretion. So this gastrin is inhibited and when gastrin is inhibited, acid secretion is inhibited. Okay. So that is one factor. Second factor somatostatin okay somatos here you can see this is one ph second here somatostatin which is secreted by delta cells or d cells that also inhibit the gastrin secretion secretin vasoactive intestinal peptide glucagon and calcitonin they all inhibit the gastrin secretion okay so this is first mechanism of regulation of gastric juice is gastrin second one that is histamine now this histamine that is released by your entropromethine like cell you can see and this is histamine okay this entropromethine like cells they have receptors for gastrin and for acetylcholine as we have seen i'll just show you the picture which we have seen before you can see these are the entropromethine like cells and they secrete histamine and acetylcholine stimulates as well as gastrin also stimulates this entropromethine like cells okay so this entropromethine like cells they have receptors for gastrin as well as acetylcholine and they increase release of histamine when there is increased acetylcholine and when there is increase in gastrin okay so you can see here histamine when it is released first of all it is stimulated by your acetylcholine and gastrin and when histamine is released it in turn increases secretion of HCL from the parietal cells you can see here histamine receptors are present on the parietal cells now this histamine is known as paracrine agent why paracrine because it acts on the nearby cell okay endopromethine cells are also present in this digestive tract so they this histamine diffuses from its release site to the parietal cells which are present near and it performs its action okay now this histamine how it works mechanism of action of histamine you can see here histamine it acts on the h2 receptors these are the h2 receptors these are these all they all are present on the parietal cell this is the parietal cell okay we have discussed ckk beta receptors on which your gastrin acts Muscarinic receptors on which acetylcholine acts and H2 receptors on which histamine acts. And when histamine binds with the H2 receptors, what happens? There is increase in the cyclic AMP. How? Because it stimulates adenylate cyclase and it increases GS. 
जी स्टिमुलेटरी और स्टिमुलेटरी जी प्रोटीन विच कन्वर्ट्स ए टी पी इंटू साइक्लिक ए एम पी एंड दिस इंक्रीजेस प्रोटीन काइनेस सी एंड नाउ दिस प्रोटीन काइनेस सी इट एक्टिवेट्स पोटेशियम एच प्लस ए टी पी एस ओके नाउ अप्लाइड एस्पेक्ट हेयर दैट इज एच टू रिसेप्टर ब्लॉकर ड्रग इज गिवन वेन द पर्सन इज हैविंग एसिडिटी ओके एंड दिस एच टू रिसेप्टर ब्लॉकर लाइक ड्रग लाइक रेनटेक रेनिटिडीन और सीमेटिडीन ओके दे एक्ट बाय ब्लॉकिंग दिस एच टू रिसेप्टर वेन एच टू रिसेप्टर सब ब्लॉक्ड दिस ऑल एक्शन आर नॉट अवेलेबल सो दर इज ब्लॉकेज ऑफ एच प्लस सिक्रीशन सो यू कैन से दैट एच प्लस सिक्रीशन डिक्रीज इज फाइन नाउ सो दिस इज सेकेंड मैकेनिज्म ऑफ रेगुलेशन ऑफ your gastric acid secretion first that is by gastrin second by histamine third that is by somatostatin the somatostatin is secreted by d cells okay you can see here this somatostatin has inhibit reaction inhibit negative action okay this d cells are located near the g cells near the gastrin secreting cells okay so gastrin secreting g cells increase secretion of acid and d cells inhibit secretion of acid so you can see here somatostatin this is present located somatostatin secreting d cells are located near the g cells and somatostatin effect is it inhibits secretion of gastric acid okay mechanism of action by two ways number one directly it is direct action on the parietal cells you can see here this g inhibitory okay and other is indirect action okay indirect action how by inhibiting the gastrin as we have discussed gastrin is inhibited by somatostatin so somatostatin that inhibits gastrin okay and which in turn inhibit secretion of uh, your gastric acid fine so this you can see here somatostatin this one d cells and it inhibits g cell fine fourth factor that regulates gastric secretion is ph when large amount of acid is secreted what happens to ph ph becomes acidic low ph so there is negative feedback when there is low ph in the stomach now we need not require to secrete acid so what happens when the ph is low you can see here there is negative feedback effect on the gastric secretion decrease gastric gastric secretion then decrease in the secretion of gastric acid so when the ph is less than 3 gastric secretion and gastric acid secretion is inhibited this is by negative feedback mechanism okay so this we have discussed your various factors they regulate uh, gastric acid secretion as we have discussed role of g cells secreting gastrin role of d cells secreting somatostatin okay antrochromaffin like cell secretes histamine and histamine in turn increases acid secretion okay last influence that is intestinal influence when your chyme reaches to intestine what happens when it reaches to duodenum there are certain intestinal hormones which are secreted and they are secreting cholecystokinin gastric inhibitory peptide and this all in turn inhibit gastric secretion so this because now the food is there in the intestine now we will not require gastric secretion so that is inhibited okay so this is all about regulation of gastric secretion tomorrow we will discuss about phases of gastric secretion okay so this is all about today's class uh, and if you wish to get notes of my class you can download the application from play store that is vesalius and if you wish to get hard copy that is available on flipkart as well as amazon that is physiology notes okay you can join my whatsapp group the number is 78638 Double two double six eight. You can ask any of your query. You can direct message me. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you so much. If you like my video, you can like it. You can share with all your friends and subscribe my 